when I tell people on the street that I stream, they probably assume that I play some games with music going on in the background and maybe a few graphics on screen that might show some semblance of a personality or brand, right? It may be a shocker, but to me streaming like that just isn't streaming. And with how we all know how saturated Twitch is at the moment, why would I settle for a plain generic overlay when I could make my streams have the production quality and uniqueness of a fully edited YouTube video all while I'm live. I always I always thought there was something something more to it, you know? You have complete control. You can do absolutely anything you want to express the exact type of personality that you have. It all just seems like a waste to stop at what color your PNGs are surrounding your webcam. So once that thought occurred to me, there was just no way I could go back. I kept poking and I kept prodding and I just fell into a giant rabbit hole that got way out of hand. And over the course of the last three-ish years, I've been dead set on being a streamer and I've been pretty much doing that the entire time. At first, it was just a gimmick, but over time I managed with practice to now make a full stream feel like a fully edited YouTube video through drop down menus and timers. So I went to Google and found plugins and I found programs and played around with the likes of the move transition plugin and stream effects. Then I found programs like Luon board or mix it up. And now the one I use uh, streamer bot. If you then put all the little doodads and gadgets together, you can make some genuinely unique and mind blowing streams. So let's start with the first of the four main things. Cornerstones, the move transition plugin. I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of the ins and the outs of the plugin. So if you want to learn how to use it, uh, Google's one tab over. Uh, but if you need links, I'll leave some in the description. Uh, you're welcome. But in a nutshell, this plugin does exactly kind of what it says. It moves something to another spot inside of OBS. Pretty much. The second cornerstone is streamer bot. You could use another bot that does similar things. This isn't the only option, but the guy who made streamer bot did give me a high five at TwitchCon. So to me, the choice is obvious. But I mean, also it does exactly what I wanted to, the way I wanted to do things. So that works out. Very lucky for that. Very good. Third is stream effects. This one's a little tricky. It's it's kind of like a Mario Party collection of a whole bunch of plugins that you could individually find if you wanted to. Uh, because this plugin is on a paywall as of like two versions ago, so that's a little bit iffy. Uh, but I haven't updated my OBS in over a year, so I think I'll technologically waterboard my PC for a couple more months with the way I have it set up right now. And the last cornerstone is Elgato. Now, before I say anything, I'm not sponsored. Not for lack of trying. I mean, I tried. They rejected me. It really hurt my feelings? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, but there are alternatives available for uh, things like the Stream Deck or or the Elgato foot pedal that I use. Yes, I actually use that thing. It's pretty cool. But these essentially work as as the start button to activate something in Streamer Bot, which activates some plugin in OBS and its filters, and then something happens on stream. Which means if you put all those four elements together, you can make some pretty neat stuff like this. real time live on air as you stream it's right it happened they're seeing that at it's not pre-recorded it's so cool i have some main categories for my effects that i had to completely make up for this video because what i'm doing is uh different enough that i don't even know how to google what i'm doing so i i just kind of i made up these ones um first up non-intrusive simple effects uh intrusive simple effects event effects and flex effects I'm not very good with names. To not blow your mind completely, we'll start slow with the non-intrusive. The premise of these is that they don't really halt the stream in any way, shape, or form, or take attention away from what's happening on stream. It just adds, you know? One that I frequently use is the, uh, the Vine Boom. <laughs> I play an audio in streamer bot, and then I run a command in streamer bot, that um, activates a filter that slightly zooms in the scene just a slightly little bit more than the time before it. So you can just zoom in over and 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 over again. And then every time you add a vine boom over and over and over again. So I'm asked time and time again what my favorite effect is. And it's actually this one. Man, man, you just spoiled it. Ah! Although at a glance, it seems pretty simple. It, it isn't, 
Ooh, I have a screenshot of my background that I took without me or my chair in it. Then using some funny background removal stuff. Appreciate that, NVIDIA. Very cool stuff. Um, I put myself in the background and freeze frame only myself and faded away. And to add a little sans something, I put reverb on my mic and then cut myself off to leave a little echo. And, and if you put it all together, you get this absolute masterpiece of an effect. You can just spam it. It's on my foot pedal. It's pretty cool. But when you catch your audience, hey, hey, pay attention here. Dozing off. Be sure to pop in some of these. Some of these, they work. They're just videos on loop. They really, they just, they work. Ah, ah, they're working right now. They're, as, they're not special. They're just videos that play on loop. They're pretty cool. But let's move on to the next category. The intrusive simple effects. These would be anything that completely distracts you from the gameplay for a bit or a joke. Trust me, you can't ignore these. You cannot. Even if you tried, it's not gonna happen. Now, some of these are inside jokes of the community. Where are you from? Good question. I'm from America. Freedom Barbecue Sport F-150's Bald Eagles. And some are just overall funny. If you're having a straight up Daijobu time right now, let me know using exclamation mark upvote. And if you're not having a Daijobu gamer time, right? And you think it's kind of cringe and it's kind of weird and you think it's a weird champ, let me know using exclamation mark downvote. You know, be honest and open. The joke is that if they disagree with me, they get banned. And when something weird or upsetting happens in game, I usually hit them with one of these. BOM! <laughs> I found her translocator. She's not gonna use it, but it's here. I'm gonna take a picture. So I'm gonna translocate her. Using self-made buttons to double down on your own sense of humor just just hits different, you know? Like I also have very specific effects for very specific bits. Such as the real Overwatch developer, Aaron Keller himself, joining the stream for very specific and important announcements. You know, I, hey, you know what? I got you. Hey, Aaron! Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I see what's happening. No, I see. I see that. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's my bad, actually. Yeah, no, actually, uh, yeah, we were trying to, like, replace people in their ranks, and we actually saw that your quality was uh, of Overwatch League caliber, so we were like... We just, we just give it a shot. The sword slash... Oh, I mean, just, think, just for fun, since I can uh, kill the stream. Here we go. Oosh. And the funeral skit for when I feel dead on the inside. Hacked enemy damage multiplier reduced from 40 to 25%. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to announce that we are witnessing the death of Sombra. We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Sombra Overwatch. Nevertheless, there's more. We have some bits for when I have no idea how to react to being complimented. Is that scary? Got, oh, we got this one. And there's a few more that I'm just gonna rapid fire so you can see them in their full glory. Obligatory. Nothing is happening here, but you guys just kind of feel like doing stuff now, right? All right, well, you know what? Rule number one, all right? Never, uh, always expect and expect it. And rule number two, do not ask about rule number three. Dwell on that. I'm gonna sit on that, and that's gonna, slowly, it's gonna, ah! Oh, oh, oh. And then I feel worse. The possibilities just are endless. Just check out my recent experiments. The hey stinky. You cannot, you can't, you know what happens when you call me Hey stinky. The stick bug. How you doing, Quest? Links! Check this out. I have a button just for you. Oh. And finally, the flex effects. Now, I wanted to see what was possible since I pretty much mastered the basics and just a little bit less. I wanted to test out the limits and see just how far I can push this one program, OBS. If 
you ignore the OBS screaming, it works just fine. Now, for context, I used to have a channel point reward that made me dab for 10,000 channel points. Uh, fake internet coins, if you will. But after a while, I got I got bored. It was kind of lame. I decided to jump scare my chat with an overly complicated animation, which, I mean, not to brag or anything, but uh, actually got me a few articles written about me. Uh, I, and I went viral on Reddit. So, you know, that's uh, that makes me a valuable member of society. But flexing aside, that's where I started taking two weeks long hiatuses, coding for eight hours a day, nonstop, until I made absolute masterpieces like this one Someone's generous enough to drop their wallet and I happen to get a tier 3 sub out of it, uh, we get a little treat! But, once again, thank you guys for 10,000 subscriptions. Uh, maybe at the next milestone, I'll have even more buttons to show off. But either way, Twitch is gonna get to see them first, so you follow me there. Um, but I don't, I don't really expect anyone to go ahead and copy any of the big ones. But honestly, I really hope that this video can open some eyes to what's, you know, possible within the landscape of streaming. It's really cool. If you're a content creator and some of these ideas look fun for your own channel, feel free to use them. If you're a viewer that watches other streamers and you think they can they can come up with some cool stuff on their own, I send them the video too. I don't know. I I really like seeing stuff like this, and I hope I hope some more people do it because I I don't uh, don't know I, I don't really know anyone else that does this, and I would really like to see some more. It's really cool stuff. Bye 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 now. Bye.